October 19th, I believe. Okay, you see that little dip right there? There should be a trap there, and I don't see it. So, we're going to wander over there and see if we caught anything. We have in this trap. Oh, well, I can't really tell. My dog gets out of the way. I'm looking to find the wire. Mm. A nice big otter. Yeah. Well, not a big otter, but an otter. First one of the year, number one. We're in action. And I know I forgot to put the stabilizer and tie it, and now I'm going to have to go find it. Well, I'll set this up and show you what it looks like after. Okay, that's the way she looks. The otters swim down here, and I mean, there's another spot they can go, but likely they're going to run through the, this run here. October 26, first martin of the year. I'm just a little guy, but gotta start somewhere, I guess. Kind of wet, it rained last night, too. So, I gotta set a whole bunch more traps today. Pretty soon, you know, we gotta work our way up to like 200 traps it takes by, the, by Christmas, anyway. Up at Nipigan River Bear Hunts here in Canada, wolf hunting. Finally got my wolf this morning. Took me five days, I think, this morning here. And finally it happened this morning and it's over, I got him. And that's the three for three this year. He went a hundred yards shot dead center through the liver kinda and packed her in. Yep. So we're doing well. And it's only November, we got lots of time to go yet. There you go, Kyle. Thanks. Here's a black wolf. November 15th that I got a fisher today too. Nice wolf. Snare got him good. Fought her for a while but he's done. Black ones are hard to come by. That's a nice one. November 16th, I guess. Friday, anyway. That's one day's catch. That's a pretty good day. Great big otter. Small beaver. Little weasel on top of him there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ten Martin. Fisher and a red fox. So. I got a few more to check, but I almost hope I don't catch any more, because... I'll be skinning all night long, and tomorrow. Well, there he is, folks, number 100. Saturday, I think it's the 23rd, it might be the 24th of November. And it's, we just got snow. We got a ton of it here. It's almost a foot deep up here. Hopefully it'll stay on now. We can. I got the snow machine up for the first time. Now we can really get going. Cover some country once it, the water freezes better. Don't touch try no lakes right now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's one big eagle, a young eagle, like he's not a white head. Standing there in the middle of all them birds and all those ravens there. 
Maybe tomorrow there'll be a few more. There's there's a couple bald ones here too. I'm gonna save my film here in case a wolf shows up. Now look at the big eagle fight going on there now. Maybe I should be offering eagle eagle uh, viewing trips instead of wolf hunting. Now there's three eagles there. I don't know if you can see them all. It's hard to see because all that brush is there. Next year I'll have that cleaned out, but there's a whole pile of eagles. I don't know how many, half a dozen anyway, coming and going out of there, fighting, chasing with the ravens. It's quite a sight. I think maybe I'll just take the camera outside so you can see it a little bit better. I think I should be in the eagle watching business. I think that's next. Anyway, it's about 25 below out here, so I'm getting back inside. I got my long gun. Well, this is the end of, what's that, May 2013, beaver season. Uh, see the results. This, this is the last of them here. And uh, we didn't get much of a season in this year because the weather, the spring didn't really come till the end of April where the ice opened up. Then we got a couple of blizzards. Long story short, I had about a well, maybe a eight day window to trap some beavers and even then I couldn't get very far. So this is what we got about 12 this year and last year I caught 50, but we had, a, like you say, last year we had all of April to trap. Anyway, that's it till uh, probably 1st of November for me now. Here's hunter number one. 2013, actually the hunter number 45, 46, the first Canadian. We'll try and shoot one time. Well, it's Sunday. September 22nd. Had the most beautiful morning you could imagine. Not a goddamn thing showed up or made a noise or anything. And this place is just one of them, one of them places you know, God, it, it's perfect. And the moose tracks all over the place. There's a rut pit just beyond that decoy. It's got everything it needs except there's no moose walking around right here. We're gonna come back tonight and give this another wow. Another whirl. Something's gonna happen here. I will I will kill a moose here. I just can't guarantee you when.
Well, it's Wednesday, October 2nd. Wednesday, we're halfway through our hunt here, John, Dotson and I. Nothing yet, it's warm, the flies are out like crazy, we're on this gorgeous lake here. And uh, hoping that we get some answers. It is pretty quiet. We've got one moose on camera, but we haven't seen any yet. Stay tuned. Well, we're back at it again. It's Thursday, October the 3rd. Last night we didn't get a peep, so we're here at a different lake. Gorgeous lake. There's lots of sign here. Lots of sign. And we can see. And up this draw right here, up there, there's a creek system, and it's full of moose tracks. We've got the wind right coming at us, so we're going to stay right here and see if we can bring them right down to the beach here. Okay, folks, what just happened here? This moose, we've been sitting here all morning calling, and like the silence, just like fog, a moose appeared right there. We, I had no time to grab for the camera. Brock shot him. Wounded him. He wandered on over there and Brock shot him again and down he went. So he's swaying right in the brush there. We have to go all the way back up this creek now and get around the other side. So stay tuned. Alright, so here we are. Second day of our six day moose hunt. It's October 9th, 2013. We set up this morning over on a pond back over here at about uh, 9.30 we called and this bull walked out into the clearing at about 80 yards and I shot him and a uh, successful start to our, our hunt. Yeah, it's been a, a pretty warm day and we called him right in. He came in just silent like the fog. Not a, not a peep, not a broken branch, not a grunt. Looked up and there he was standing there. We've got two more to hopefully to try and fill on this hunt and uh, we've got lots of time left so it's looking very promising. Other than a broken Argo that I think I can solve today. Well, here we are on day six of another moose hunt. And we haven't seen a thing or heard of, well, we heard one this week and we didn't get them. We're on this beautiful piece of real estate right here. My hunter, I don't know if we can see him. Yeah, you should be able to see him up there. In that orange somewhere. He's watching another stretch of river. You can see right down to here. Uh, I'm watching this corner down here. The river turns and goes way in hell and gone down. And we will go and wander up there later on today. And we don't get any action here. There's tracks all over this place. But again, it's hunting. It's a huge piece of real estate. And you either got to bump into them or they've got to come to a call and I haven't heard one answer all week except that one bull at night he, or just before dark, 7 o'clock, he started grunting. Actually, I didn't hear him. My client was there waiting for him and he heard him and he wouldn't come out. So we're hoping that they get going here shortly. 